Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Good morning to one and all. I, Hiba Farin, an academic consultant in English from Odisha State Open University. So today we are uh, we will be discussing a novel. No, we will be discussing a drama by written by Mahesh Dattani, and his name and the name of the play is um, the Final Solution. So hopefully you would enjoy this play and you will learn a lot. So before commencing the play, we need to know the socio-political background that led to the framing of such a reverberating topic named the Final Solution. So the very title of the play or the drama that we say is quite uh, ironical with the uh, Hitler's uh, talk, Hitler's concern of the annihilation of the Jews from the society. So it's quite ironically related to that concept so beginning with the britishers ideology of how they inculcated or implanted the seed of religion caste into the mindset of the people and how they try to distort the very harmony or the unity that we people used to live with and there are innumerable plays that cites the example of this discrimination of this partition the pangs the trauma we can associate it with the different So there are innumerable uh, novels or the plays that are written. So the Amitabh Ghosh, The Shadow Lines, how it tries to show that the, the very demarcation, the lines that we draw for the partition, it's really a mirage. There's no sort of reality. How can we draw lines in the sky by just drawing the lines in this land or the earth? So it says the very illusionary aspect of the very lines or the it's lines is quite a mirage or a shadow. Then there, uh, there's a play, there's a novel written by Kushwan Singh's Train to Pakistan, in how it, it portrays how the two lovers of the different community or the different caste, how they are united in the soul, yet they, the, yet the very reality can't unite them physically. And do, they do attain the spiritual union, though. So in this play, too, we are not just, uh, we are not just going to read about the partition or the pangs of separation between the lovers it, it also speaks about the very concept of a riot how it arose due to the differences and how it is quite the role played by the political parties and the very religion is taken into a play and how the communal harmony is broken in the name of politics so uh, before starting the play we need to know about the author or the playwright who has written this play and Mahir Dattani is one of the most leading dramatist in Indian drama in English and he is one of the first Indian playwright uh, who has been awarded with the uh, Sahitya Academic Award for his contribution to the world drama. He was born on August 7, 1958 in Bangalore and his parents were originally from Gujarat and but they came to Bangalore for business purpose and they settled over there and he completed his school and college education all at Bangalore and he even even joined his father's uh, business though he had an intrinsic attachment towards dance theater and he even watched Gujarati's plays Kannada plays and all this gave him ideas of the theater and uh, and he was quite keenly interested not only in theater but also in dancing so he started a career as an actor in drama and even played many innumerable roles in indian english play and even british plays too so he he as a result of which he tried to found his own theater company and that was named as playpen that was uh, that company was made in 1984 in order to perform the plays particularly of the Indian Indianness or the Indian culture what he tried to display so after this he tried to devote himself now to directing the plays and his first directed play is the God is God that was a uh, that was performed in 1986 and he directed all of his plays there only so later on he tried to move towards writing the play and this resulted in where there's a will and in this play, he also worked as an actor. So thus he started a career as an actor, then he moved to direct it, and then he started writing plays. So now I would like to tell you some of the different important plays that he wrote. 
first was god second was uh, where there's a will then uh, dance like a man then tara bravely for the queen then final solutions on a muggy night in mumbai is so innumerable plays that he wrote in order to and he his concept was totally different he even tried to take third gender into consideration and to give them recognition the very discrimination in the society regarding uh, gender issues so it quite he is quite vocal on the current situation he tries to give voice to the voiceless so in his plays too he tries to deal with uh, fringe issues and even the marginalized concept in the society so and he even tried to extend his uh, and themes particularly to child abuse and homosexuality then hijra communities there was social and social taboos related subjects and even social rights all these are the main theme and characters that is associated in his play and so so first of all we need to know what is the difference between a theater drama so theater is a place where a uh, dramatic performance normally takes place as a troupe of plays with a vision that they will instill life in them there's a life event there is a interaction between the performer and the audience and uh, it's quite a mutual relationship that's that's happen in a theater while drama is a script is a printed text in hand that we normally read and drama is derived from a greek word dram means to do out or act while well, theater is to behold is the stage it's there is a stage there is a actor there is a background light lightning all it's also of technical effects sound effects audience is quite interaction is there and while the theater is a live performance and uh, and the director and this play was directed and it was quite uh, after great difficulty it even got the ground of being played with a live interaction with the people so so uh, the very concept of communalism then the concept of communal rights and hatred got its due place in this drama so alik padam see he was uh, he was of the view that uh he was a, he was very per he had a pertinent question that can we shake off our prejudices or are there in our psyche like our genes will we ever be able to free or unlock its combat just like arab against jews whites against black or hindu against muslims so these are the quite pertinent questions that in the mind of every every person particularly alik padansi who is a director of the play he has all these sorts of questions regarding the social norms and uh, taking into consideration the concept of communalism and this definition is given by political scientist named rashiduddin khan and who defines that religious communalism it's an ideology of political allegiance to a religious group as a primary and decisive group in the polity and for political actions so communalism is is an ideology it's a way of thinking and how politics comes into play and we try to distort the very harmony that the different sects live in and how we try to celebrate the akbar amar akbar anthony that's the euphemism that we use but in reality this very sorts of tolerance is quite broken and we need to face it and we need to speak on it that how yeah there is an intolerance in the society and this euphemism is no longer uh, satisfy or the very reality is quite distorted
19 uh so so na uh, so there was so in this play uh we will be saying we will be having a con, uh, a con we will be having a different ideologies of both the hindu and the muslim and how being rational and how the very concept of atithi deva bhava is will be portrayed here and the house and it's and there's a right that has crept up in the locality and how the muslim two and the muslim two boys are running to save their life and how they come across the house of the hindu and um, the very concept of accepting the guest and guest is a sort of god or god created being so how they will be accepting him and ramanik being a rational personality there are different members in the family some from the uh, post partition trauma then uh, some from the very religious belief then some are quite modern so these are the different characters in the house so ramnik has a wife named aruna he has a daughter named smitha and he do have a mother uh, named hardika earlier she was known as daksha so the very change of the name and the very feminist perspective can be <coughs> noticed in this play so mahir datani particularly focuses on the problem of communal disharmony that exists between hindu and muslim in india and uh, especially the period of post partition rights and the play starts with daksha reading lines from her diary so the setting suggests that the period is late 1940s and daksha is a mother of the central character named ramnik gandhi and she do shuttles between her two identities one is a girl of 15 years uh, and now as a matured lady who has witnessed 40 years of freedom so so the chorus that is chanting at the back sometimes assumes hindu mask and sometimes muslims one so the face has been reported it's just the face behind the mask and tries to portray the very uh, gruesome or the gory nature or the mind that the people are having behind the mask so so the words rendered by the chorus are clear indicator of there is a communal disharmony and it's a quite a painful consequence that are followed by the experience of the different characters in the play final solution it talks about cultural hegemony and how hindu has to suffer at the hand of muslim majority like the characters of hardika and daksha in husain's hand so uh, earlier the earlier partition muslims were the majority and it's just a issue of majority and a minority that's creating all this uh, ruckus in the society so so the very uh, disparity or the differences that do exist it do exist even today even so how a muslim like javed he suffers at the hand of the setup of the majority of the hindu society so this all results in communal rights and culminated in disruption in the normal social life and how it hampered the progress of the nation at large so the locale of the play is ramnik's house and the central character are his daughter smita with his his wife aruna and his mother hardika beside himself there are two muslim boy named bobby and javed who entered into his house during communal tension that is occasioned by attack on the rath yatra procession so in the beginning daksha is recollecting from her diaries about her past as she is she was married at the age of 14 and now about 40 years daksha has become hardika but her prejudice against the community continues to be with her because she is old she uh, represent traditionality her very thought process of the partition the very pangs of partition is quite deep rooted in her heart and the very feeling of hatred towards the other community and how the very suffering or the or the torture or the pains that she had undergone it's quite inbuilt or it's quite implanted in her thought process such hardly that even even after independence she hasn't yet forgotten the very past or she tries to relate it to the very present situation as well that these people cannot be trusted and they need to be killed at spot so this is her very orthodoxical or fundamentalist concepts of her thinking so javed as a uh, bobby uh tells ramnik and uh, he has become a fanatic because it's because of the society that makes the people uh quite a goon or a 
jihadist or a terrorist because it's a they saying that it's a society who tries to who changes the very perception of the people the sort of alienation or the isolation or the differences that people have in the mind it has a impact on the person's character and and that's the reason he is saying that he has been hired by the hooligans to spread this communal violence and he was paid to kill the priest but the very situation takes a reverse turn and uh, and bob and bobby who who was at the verge of killing the priest but uh, by looking at the face of the priest that please do uh, please do for, forgive me or please do uh, leave me as well, i i don't want to die so this very expression of of living a life quite uh, melted the heart of the person and he did left the spot he didn't murder rather someone else took the opportunity and killed in the name of a muslim guy so this was the particular situation how the people take advantage of someone's community or the caste and try to portray in a negative way and try to blemish it with a dark character so the tani here tries to attempt a balancing act in tracing the melody of communal disharmony so the ground he treads is full of mines that is ready to be exploded so at this it involves the fanatic elements within hindu and muslim communities and it is uh, obvious to all that the people are paid to create uh, political instability communal riots then there's a disrupt there's a suspicion and there is a break in the social fabric so this quite inevitable and the politicians they try to uh, exploit or inflict um, differences in the minds or the ideology of the people and in this play chorus who is an expedient device that has been used brilliantly to provide commentary on the way this communal provocation instigated the mindless mob violence because if the people have a thought process of what they are doing that they would have they would never uh, uh, come out with these sorts of uh, heinous crimes or deeds because they are quite really mindless people just they are being provoked they are just quite instigated and they just act on it without giving a second thought even to it and they are out of the senses in a way we can say so there is always someone to light the fire of violence and that's quite apt that yeah due to someone's instigation these sorts of <laughs> situations are created so this play he tries to illustrate and how the very notion of contamination pollution then how the eating habits how the kitchen habits how the very different community or the set will pollute the very a uh, person by touching the idol or the holding of the puja thali it would be contaminated or it would be polluted so this is a very narrow mindedness that the people have so this character uh, in the play he tries to motivate that the, the, the thinking that the angry outburst lead to a chain of reaction and uh, the the mask that they were uh, wearing uh, whether the hindu or the muslim they were trying to represent the facelessness the mindlessness of the mob and they were quite bloodthirsty there's a anger there's a violence that took toll on both the groups and the chorus with hindu mask burst with angry words and there's a in indication of the political mischief there's a deliberate someone deliberately instigated them so nobody think that land belongs to all indians and rather it's just a division of the hindu and muslim that creates all the sorts of economically laps and and the great sorts of loopholes that do exist in the society and one community just hates another and one community it is just a major and the other is just major doesn't show that the community or the religion is in going in a wrong direction rather both are go heading towards the rightness but just because one is few and the one is more cannot just act as a dominating over the other everyone has his individuality and everyone do have his thought process so it's so living in an atmosphere of conflict and acrimony this they are just going at a loggerheads one trying to inflict the pain on the other and then the the quite boys vice versa the situation is so the mob in the play is quite symbolic of hatred paranoia so each member of the mob is an individual 
and they are seething whole as soon as the political plays on their fears and anxieties so fear and anxieties of few communities can be traced to the partition and there is a muslim sensitivity to music being played near a mosque and there is a hindu sensitivity in a matters like general muslim food habits that go against vegetarianism so this is the fear of contamination this is fear of uh, pollution so soon uh, voices by so voices like bobby are drowned and ignored and brushed aside so the very feeling of individuality the very feeling of oneness it's quite downtrodden at the hands of differences so the tani exposes the very of uh, thinking of fundamentalist orthodox people who use religion as a cover to realize their selfish interest and religion is a mere plow in the hands to further their interest in life and cherish their desired goal so identity politics uh, underlying the hindu muslim tension in india has to be clearly grasped to explain the cause of communal rights as well as large scale skilling that takes place that took place in recent year too and it's taking place now also so how can we it's quite uh, relevant even today and it's with this play uh, all the work of art it's uh, it stands the test of time and therefore it's read even today so there is a serious socio political problem that's plaguing our nation even today and there's a disharmony between the hindu and the muslim and there's a recurring rhetoric of hatred aggression then there's a political exploitation there's a communal right chauvinism patriarchal mindset all these are the negative aspects that are looming in the society so the story is juxtaposed between the two period that is the present and the past and it finally throws light on the beliefs of those who consider themselves as very liberal so so that uh, the so the time it wasn't with the sticks and stones but rather it was those boys who were running away with uh, who frightened me so those who were begging for life tomorrow they will hate us so i would like to quote uh, a, a quote few lines from the drama it's a page 172 and it's written that uh, this time it wasn't the people with sticks and stones it was those two boys running away who frightened me those two who were begging for their lives tomorrow they will hate us for it they will hate us for protecting them asking for help makes them feel they are lower than us i know all the all those memories come back, came back when i saw pride in their eyes i know the wretched pride it had destroyed me before and i was afraid it would destroy my family again they don't want equality they want to be superior so the very notion of equality is not the thing that these people are seeking for and and the problem arises when one considers oneself superior and the other inferior because all are created equally in the hands of lord and the only problem arises when we try to be consider ourselves upper hand than the other then the differences arises uh so Uh, so we are starting with the daksha her 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 earlier life food how she, she earlier partition how her life was and how after partition how it all changed and her very notion so daksha hates muslim because her father was killed in a communal riot and because her overtues her for friendship with zarine she is a zarine was a muslim young girl and were rejected after communal right that raised zarine's father's shop and which incidentally was brought by daksha's father in law so how the very burning of the shop of zarine's father and bringing at of such a, a low cost that the daksha's father in law was able to purchase it from them so it was it was a planned it was a planned action of burning the shop of zarine of a muslims muslims shop and then lowering its price and then purchasing it it was a it was all planned and now and now taking into account javed the young muslim fundamentalist and a member of a gang 
has long nursed a resentment against the world because of the otherness and demonetization of his community and religious identity by the dominant community so this ramnik ramnik gandhi he is daksha's son and he is trying to atone he knew the very reality of them having this shop and he tried to atone this sin or this sin that was committed by his fathers and forefathers therefore he was quite conscious of this secularistic aspect and daksha who tells us about the riot in which his father was killed and how she and her mother took refuge from the flying stones in puja room and how her faith in god uh, this represented by the idol of krishna was suddenly gone never to return so these are things that have not changed but much much by, after 40 years too these two are quite implanted in a thought process and when the and the curfew uh erupted in a small town of amargaon where gandhis live so so daksha's diary has a usual retelling of communal hatred desecration of religious signifiers it's it's quite visible and quite vividly seen in her eyes from time to time so she is quite unable to uh, forget the very past and accept the very true reality so daksha's last visit to zarini's place is an example of hospitality that's asks name and she went to see her friend without knowing that her husband and father in law had secretly planned to overtake the business and reduce their shop to ashes so zarine who commits violence and how the zarine will uh, inflict pain on daksha that she invited her to the dining table and knew full fully well that uh, she didn't like the smell or the sight of the beef and that would injure her as uh, injure her um mentally or spiritually so daksha throws up and is helped by the domestic servant who surmises that she has eaten beef and domestic violence and um, captivity follows so so one is trying to hurt the other just and this pain game this hurt game is all resounding and it's going on a vicious circle and in the process of hurting one another it's it's a, it's a, one the person who himself get hurt and they themselves don't know that they are in a way trying to hurt themselves so final solution is a problem play yeah we do agree that it is a problem play it deals with communal tensions of a society and uh, there's a violence in the society then um, the how it has been dramatized to the characters of smita ramnik arun bobby and javed yeah th there's a dialogue that too is shared between the two boys of the member with the with the ramnik's family and it's do and it's to reveal that deep deep rooted distrust that exists between the two society and even ramnik's wife argues with her husband and daughter when uh, smita is is smita who is against giving them shelter in their house where aruna forbids bobby and yeah we to touch the water with which uh, she bath she bathes the god the very touching of the water that's a spiritual purpose it would quite uh, pollute or contaminate the spirituality of the water so this attitude of aruna this very uh, orthodoxical thinking of her is portrayed and it shows her narrowness in thinking it's it's uh, this play is a it's a contemporary and it's a resonating with the central issue of communalism in its utmost concern of the society and the communalist attitude that do exist with among hindu and muslim and it underlies the stereotype influencing the collective sensibility of one community against the other and moving from partition to the present day communal rights it tries to examine the attitude of three generation of gujarati family one is the traditional daksha then from um, then ramnik uh, modern and post modern or the very contemporary nature of the babban smita javed how they view uh, different religion and how is the concept of oh, overcoming these barriers in in a in family relation and even to have the audacity of speaking against all these uh, narrow mindedness of the families of the family play so there is a fear there is an anxiety that exists in the play and muslims too are quite conscious of the antipodal position that they are assuming in the hindu society or the community 
and there's a mutual aversion between the two community and it's quite depicted with a rare fidelity which spells absolute conviction so datani is a great contribution in the drama and the presence of scenario is translated and through in, into every indian language and performed throughout the country so its approach was to reach the reach to each and every one through his play and the it's um, the, the theater is one of the medium through which there's a quite good interaction with the audience and yeah and after great difficulty he was able to stage this play um and how the very and how to reach the unreached or how to make the audience uh, know about the reality what's taking place in the society and to and to mold the very mind of the people so the the very title of the play the final solution uh, is there any final solution to this sort of a uh, momentary creeping of the rights is there any solution to the differences it's a quite it's a question in itself it's the title uh, isn't yet justified that how the playwright has he able to achieve a final solution to the um, problems that do arises frequently it's a, it's a question that need to be answered individually and by each one of us and uh, and how uh theater would be a right medium to dominate society where the films like uh, my name is khan fana or veer zara there's a innumerable plays who tries to portray the very concept of this differences in the society how the very love life of the people are ruined or destroyed just because of this narrow mindedness of the people how the love that was there uh, between uh, smita and javed that too was uh, that too was sad just because of the differences in the society and uh, and and javed's sister who used to live in a hostel how there was a bombing near the hostel and this made the family of uh, javed to call up smita and how the situation took a different turn and how ramnik took up the phone call from smita's hand and tried to console the very family of uh, javed's sister that yeah everything is alright and nothing no sort of bombing took place so the very parent parent nature or the parenthood or the love for the mankind or the human kind that is the essence of life and that's the essence or the very consciousness that do resides in each and every one of us and the very the, the the examples that we can cite is how the muslims and hindus are not only the victims of religious violence in india we can even cite that how indira gandhi in 1984 uh, gave an order was uh, assassinated she was assassinated by two uh, sikh bodyguard in retaliation and there was a retaliation what was the cause behind that that she ordered that the indian army to storm the golden temple in amritsar in order to capture the sikh terrorist and this quite took a uh, reverse turn and she was murdered at the hands of the sikh bodyguard so it's how the very um, concept of religion is a sensitive issue and and we need to take the thing seriously and we need to ponder over it the wo- the world speaks of a peace but when it comes to these sorts of conflict in the name of religion no one is there to act upon it it's it's a just an issue of instigation it's an issue of provocation and how people lose their senses they become mindless and they don't know what they are doing just they become blood thirsty and they lose their senses and the the very situation of the god uh, godda right or there's a, there's an innumerable rights that took place in india or and even the very concept of racism all these are speaking of showing oneself as a major and the minor the all these are showing the one and the other that uh, one is superior than the other and then that's the very reason why these sorts of differences do creep and they are creeping and 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 how to forbid this how this very title the final solution how can it be attained yeah it's not yet attained attained or we cannot see any sort of solution that playwright has shown us that yeah by through these ways that we can attain it yeah he did depicted that yeah being rational being secular that's a way of looking into matter 
how we see how we perceive is all that make the change that he is saying to us that it's 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 all upon us it's all upon how we see the world and how we try to see that in future just one person taking a lead just one thought one thought can bring a change in the mindset of the people so on so so the very character of javed he being turning a a terrorist or we can say how he was influenced by the jihadist concept we can say that it was not he who was willingly who was who who read something or it was the very society how it tried to discriminate him how the society tried to lower down his position he wasn't treated as equal by the different community or the different sect of the society and this provoked him and this sort of he invoked him to teach them a lesson or to so that what he was and what he can do it it we can say that it is the complexity of communalism that made him such so uh, we can we can say that that when ramnik gandhi finds out the javed's profession so he was he uh, immediately assumed that javed did did that for money and money is a driving force behind each and every heinous act rather it is the virtue or the goodness that the person possesses doesn't require any sort of lure or any sort of um gift or money it's it's it must be in the nature of the person to do good and for goodness one needn't require anything but for doing badness it's in the in the human nature that if there is a greed if there is any sort of negativity then then it would be uh, it would be growing like a cancer and it will ruin the very personality of the person and it will bring about a destruction in the society at large so so when uh, ramnik knew that he 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 got engaged in all those uh, uh in uh, anti social activity so he, yeah the very reason he thought that it might be money but in uh, javed case it wasn't the money that drove him to do such things uh, rather it was the very uh, how it was affected how it affected the very psyche that that made him to indulge in all those sorts of anti social activity this holy war that we say that jihad it's jihad is normal is usually a self war it's a war against the negativity that we do possess it's not a war against someone so the very evidences that has been said about the rama janma bhumi that this temple was believed to have been built by king vikram aditya around 300 ce on the location of rama birth place that is called as a rama janma bhumi so in that very place how the very two confluence of two different religion of how the babar construction of the mosque and the very demolition of the babri masjid and the very conflict that do arise between the society normally it's it's this play speaks all about that concept there's a politics and the how the very existence of two one is po one positive and the negative and the like uh, politics and religion in india is portrayed the very historical the psychological the cultural and economical aspects then cognitive and affective ideology or the way we perceives things is taken into account and and this play which was utilized by different types of ritual performance that 
like Alik Padamsi and uh, Arvin God, they utilize different types of ritual performance, whether it be the um, uh, uh, whether it be the recital of the azan or the play of the bhajan song. It has been uh, um, inculcated in the play in order to create that effect. And there are innumerable works outside India too, like Bertrand Bridge, Mother Courage, and Her Children. That was written in 1939. Then uh, The Crucible that was written by Arthur Miller in 1952. So there's, there's, there are innumerable plays that not just in India, that there exists this communalism, there exists a differences. Yeah, they do exist. This and this sorts of problem do exist in a worldwide. And like uh, there's a conflict between the Christian and the Jews and how they try to annihilate the very society. So it's not it's not the solution by annihilating one for the betterment of the other. Rather, evolution or the change or the very sort of adaptability can be a way of looking things in a proper way. So this play, uh, this Mahasitani uh, weaves the play with the uh, same old notion of communal harmony in the changing line frame of the 21st century. And there's a struggle and there's a struggle to reach an amicable solution, which still still remains unattainable. It's quite vague that we are saying that, yeah, the final solution play that he tried to portray some of these solutions or some of the way how can we overcome these sorts of problems that we are facing. It's quite vague. It's quite it's quite unattainable because the very thing that the change that we want to bring, it's in the thought process. It's in the very, um, in the consciousness of the people that do play an important role in bringing about a change. So the, so the, and like the novel Train to Pakistan that was written by Khushwan Singh, he tries to show that there's a ghastly, there's a gory scene up there where two minds, there is to two different religion, uh, two different sects, how they get united in love. But in reality, the same, same emotion cannot be displayed just because they belong one to the Hindu and one to the Muslim. Though they were, there was partition, there was differences. And this sorts of differences are the very uh, fundamentalist notion that, yeah, these two religions are different. Yeah, these two are totally different and they cannot be united. It's quite a narrow mindedness of the people. And even Amitabh Ghosh, who tries to portray this in his in the novel, The Shadow Lines, the, how the very lines that we draw between Bangladesh, Pakistan, or India, these lines are really a mirage. Line, just drawing a line in the land cannot divide the people from heart to heart connection, or there cannot be line drawn in the sky because it's a man created line and and lines are meant to be erased So how uh, the Tani um, tried to um, uh, stage this play in different languages so that it, it can be reached to each and everyone, whether it was even written in Hindi, it was even written in Urdu. And yeah, it was written in English Yeah, that we are reading. And the very dominance of films that takes place into the society. So how much is the place of theater secure and how much do the politi politicians interfere in the theater play and how much they fear the very position in power. So these are the very pertinent questions that do looms in the mind of an artist or a playwright that how much is safe or how much is the position of theater uh, dominating the society where the film are were taking a greater lead or taking the stage place or eclipsing the very uh, theatrical act or drama that is the essence or the true interaction or the true face it tries to show to the society. So this was 
all it was in this drama and how the very drama tried to show the very politics and religion how there's a threat how there's a communalism in so south india south asia at large the very dispute the ayodhya dispute the political context of final solution these are quite at large discussed in this play and hopefully you might have got the glimpse or the the very background of the play and you would do relish reading the text by yourself and do enjoy it thank you thank you sir for for supporting to launch this online session we are good to go wind the session sir amit sir hello